Good morning, St. John's. It is Tuesday, February the 15th. I'm your host, Ethan. This is SJC TV. Here's what you need to know. Grad photo retake appointment dates and times are now available through Edge Imaging's online booking system and are scheduled for March 8th and March 9th. Please note that grad photo proofs can take up to three weeks from your original photo date to be emailed out to you. If upon receiving your proofs you are unhappy, then you may log in and book a retake session. Students who missed their grad photo session can also book an appointment on one of our retake days. Please see Ms. Ronson in Student Services if you have any further questions or concerns. Attention potential grads, if you're interested in applying for any of the SJC graduation awards, bursaries and scholarships, then you must submit your completed application to Student Services by Monday, February 28th at 3 p.m. Please refer to the Leaving the Nest package for more detailed information. The awards, bursaries and scholarships application can be found and completed on SJC website under Student Services. And if you have any questions, please talk to your guidance counselor. Attention students looking for volunteer hours. The City of Brantford has a Snow Buddy program. We encourage that you check out the Community Involvement Hours Board outside of Student Services for more details. And attention grads, here's another scholarship opportunity for you. The State of Kindness Foundation is offering financial scholarships to students who help to realize their potential. This scholarship has a very specific criteria and brochures outlining this criteria can be found in Student Services. You can also visit their website at www.stateofkindness.ca for more information. And in sports, attention boys basketball practice. They have resumed as of yesterday on Monday. Please see your coach for the latest check-in with the phys ed department for the gym schedule. And great news on the ice. The St. John's girls varsity hockey team played against BCI yesterday at the Gretzky Center. Olivia Bullock managed to score a goal in the third period, which tied it up against BCI with a score of 1-1. Amazing game and great to see our athletes are back out there. Let's go Eagles. And that's all for today. Please check our socials for the latest. I'm your host Ethan. This is SJC TV. Have a real great day St. John's. Good morning grade 12s. Mrs. Ronson here, your grad coordinator. I'm just hopping on to outline the voting procedure for this year's valedictorian. Some of you might not be aware, but last year was the first year we casted our valedictorian votes through an online site, electionbuddy.com. It is the same website we are going to use to vote for this year's valedictorian. So beginning tomorrow, you will hear from our first valedictorian nominee, Owen Pertelli and followed by uh, our second valedictorian nominee, Heather Stanley, who will share her video on Thursday. These videos will be played in your grade 12 homeroom classes, and then they will be posted to the Student Services Brightspace D2L page. So if you miss it or you wanna go back and listen to them again, uh, they will be there um, over the next few days until you actually cast your vote on Tuesday, February 22nd. So in order to vote, um, you have to be a potential graduate who is eligible to vote. Um, you are an eligible voter if you have indicated on your grad application that you intend to participate in the ceremony in June at the Sanderson Center and you have paid the associated $80 grad fee uh, with that uh, intent to participate. Eligible voters will be emailed the link to their school email account uh, between the hours of 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. on Tuesday, February 22nd is when you will be able to cast that vote. Um, make sure that if you do not get the link to your inbox that you are checking the spam or your clutter folder uh, with your school email account. If you have some technical difficulties with the link or you feel that maybe you are an eligible voter but you did not receive the link, then you need to see myself or Mr. McKinley on Tuesday, February 22nd between the hours of 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Uh, we will have to handle any concerns during the voting window and as no other votes outside of that 8 p.m. deadline on February 22nd will be able uh, to be cast uh, through the online website. So any technical difficulties or any questions about whether you're an eligible voter, you need to see myself, Mrs. Ronson, or Mr. McKinley between the hours of 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Um, and if obviously if it's outside of school hours, you can reach us by email on February 22nd. 
The hope is that we will announce our valedictorian winner by the end of next week, so no later than February 25th. And so at this time, I'd like to wish both of our valedictorian candidates uh, the best of luck. So just a reminder that you will see Owen, Portelli, Owen Portelli's video tomorrow, followed by Heather Stanley's video on Thursday. Best of luck. Thank you.